Hey guys, and welcome to Quarantine Classroom. Today we're going to learn about charges. So let's picture this scenario. You're sliding down a slide, and then suddenly your hair just spikes up. Like you look crazy, because your hair is like that. But why does it happen? It's because of this thing called friction. Now, friction is a force. Force like in Star Wars. Ooh. It basically prevents two things from being able to slide or move against each other. So basically, as you slide down the slide, friction is working against you, okay? So it's like if you're sliding across a floor with socks on, or if you're sliding across a floor without socks on, okay? Now, your feet, they're sticky, they have different textures, they aren't able to slide across your floor, right? Because there's more friction. But if you have socks on, they're nice and smooth. They have less friction, which is why you can slide better. Now let's talk about atoms. Atoms are basically the building blocks of life. They're the Legos. They make everything. They make us. They make other things like our phones, our pencils. Atoms are everywhere. Now, there are three parts to an atom. There's the neutron, which has no charge. Okay, the neutron has no charge, which is why it's called neutron, like neutral. Then there's the proton. It's positive. And then we have the electron, which is negative. And they basically move around the nucleus, which is made out of the protons and the neutrons. Okay? And so basically, the electrons are flowing around the nucleus made of protons and neutrons. And nature loves balance, okay? We love balance. So that means we have to have the same amount of electrons and protons to balance out, right? Now, your slide is made out of plastic, right? Plastic slides. It's an insulator. That means it doesn't allow electric current to pass through. So let's picture those telephone poles, right? There's a lot of electricity flowing through power lines and they have wooden towers, right? So if we touch them, we don't get electrocuted because wood is an insulator. It lets us be safe, even though there's so much electric current up there, which is why it's safe. Other insulators are rubber, glass, and plastic. Now, another thing insulators like to do is steal electrons, okay? So when our hair brushes against the slide, basically the slide starts to steal electrons from our hair, and it makes those strands of hair positive. So if we take away a negative charge, then our hair becomes positive, right? Take away a negative, makes it positive. Then there's that charge imbalance, Okay, there's a charge imbalance in our hair. And we don't like that. <laughs> and basically, when several strands of hair had touched and lost electrons, they're all positive. But then all of our neutral balanced hair does not like that. So then those strands of hair will spike up. And that's why we look kind of crazy after we go down a slide because... Those positive hairs don't want to be close to the neutral hairs. Now you know why your hair spikes up when you go down a slide. Thanks for watching and remember to keep on learning.